Oh yeah. It's okay. Come on in. You got your tickets, right? All right, you good. No, I don't want to give up my service. Oh yeah. You guys ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. Uh, if you guys are ready in the chat, let me see those. Two toots in the chat. Two times, not three. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's your boy Blue, and uh, I don't know. I just something about this this train got me feeling jazzy. I uh, wasn't gonna wear the shades either, but then I was like, man, this track got me just, you know, it put me in a mood. It put me in a mood. I got, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but uh, what is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue. And this, for the first time in a long time, on the channel as a live stream, is Train Sim World 2. Hopefully you guys can see everything okay. It's kind of dark here in the Edge Hill Shed, uh, but this is the Jubilee right next to the uh what they call the 8f which is basically the freighter version for those of us who are not you know knowledgeable in trains it looks like the same train freight not freight freight not freight but it looks beautiful looks great and uh, i think dovetail games has done a great job modeling this train this is the first ever steam train to come alive on train sim world 2 been waiting a long time for this i've been really enjoying some freight you know uh, some regular passenger stuff with the modern trains and the high speed. Oh, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, but the one thing that Train Sim World has been really missing this whole time is steam trains. And, oops, I fell into the <laughs> maintenance area. No, I, I don't want to skip the service. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back out of here. Matter of fact, what we could do, I'm not sure if we do it on this train. Are any of these trains... Yeah, we'll check this. We can actually walk down here underneath the train squat down a little bit. I know it's a little dark, so sorry. And you can actually go through here and just kind of, you know, observe. Now, you can't really click on anything or touch anything except for, I think, the couplers, if it was coupled to something. But that's it. We can go through here and make sure everything looks good. And there it is. And the only way out is back up those stairs. But I think it's really cool. If, if it were lighter out here, you could be able to see the detail uh, that's actually incorporated underneath the, uh, the locomotive, which would be pretty nice. But we'll see plenty of that today. Today, we'll be driving the Jubilee, this green one. Actually, no, this is not our train. Our train is down the line down here. It is the one making all the noise. This one right here in the beautiful red colors. I'm actually going to hit restart on this service, and we're going to play it so that we're not so late on time. But uh, yeah, I'm super like excited. It's been a long time since I've actually got the chance to to stream Train Sim World. I've been doing a lot of flight simming and, and other things, but you know, it's just been a while since we've actually streamed Train Sim World. A lot of you guys have been asking for it, so hopefully, uh, you guys will enjoy. But uh, it's been a lot of fun uh, run, uh, driving this route. Big shout out to Dovetail Games um, for allowing me to uh, to get an early look at it and, and play it. All right, so I'm gonna jump out just real quickly, show you guys what we're driving today. We have a very special train, very special. You may have already noticed. It's not the regular one. The regular one is is green. Up oh, there it is, the safety. <laughs> uh, but this one is red, with a nice little uh, gold trim. Real fancy, real fancy. We'll uh, bring it out the shed, put it into a better light, and we'll see it out there. How about we do that? 
So to get started, we're gonna hop into the driver's seat. And uh, oh, hello, hello. All right, so I want to do this uh, in chat. I want you guys to name our firewoman today. Um, I think we have to back up, don't we? Yeah, Edge Hill Platform. I think it's behind us. We are here, and Edge Hill Platform is way over here. All right, and there's a train pulling in right now as we speak. So it's like the way we get there is on the blue line. Uh, we'll attach to here, and then go here, and then straight through there, straight through there. We'll flip that one, and then the rest of these are all going to be automatic, so that's good to go. I'll go ahead and shut off the music. Uh, I thought I was listening to jazz, and that's not as jazzy as the first track. But it's all good. Alright, another thing I got for you guys today, which is a lot of fun and highly recommended, is... Boom, this little guy. I'm rocking the rail driver today. So I'm going to be using this a lot in our stream, in our uh, drive today. It's just much easier to use an actual controller to actually run the train. And you can use the keyboard, you can use the Xbox controller if you're on PC or Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, but I prefer to use this baby right here. So uh, to get this thing started, let's see. Uh, we're going to get the sm uh, yeah, small ejector to full open. And then I'm going to use my reverser here and go full forward, 75%. Everything should be calibrated, and I'm going to release my brake. And this one over here is what is going to be my regulator. So now we've done that, we can give two toots. Actually, you know what? I just realized I put it in forward. We need to go in reverse. So we'll swing it around, put it in reverse. There it is, reverse 75. All the tracks should be set up. Now we'll give it some throttle or regulator. You can see we're pushing back. And I have a key here, or a button on my controller that I can use to turn off the cylinder cocks, or we can reach down here and hit that guy right there. There she is. Oh, listen, you can actually hear it actually kind of has an echo in the shed. That's pretty nice. Uh, there it is. Now she is in the light. Now we can see her in all her beauty. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I just downloaded this custom livery or paint job on the uh, Dovetail, what do they call it, Creators Club. Uh, completely free download in the Creators Club area of the game. There's already a bunch of uh, artists on there making some great paints, and I can't wait to see what else everybody else makes. I'm going to back up underneath this uh, thing. Oh, I just realized it doesn't have a number on the front. That's okay. Uh, Patrick, where did I get my rail driver? I bought mine from uh, Amazon. Matter of fact, you should have the link in the description, but I don't know. They they seem to go in and out of stock really often. Um, so if you get lucky, you can go now, and maybe it's available. If not, then just kind of watch out for it and uh, and see if, there's, if they're selling them again. Uh, so I know when I originally went to look to see if they had any of these, I couldn't find any. I was like, man, I actually want one. And uh, there were none available. But now, they are. Oh, I thought that was closed. There we go. Put up Patrick, welcome to the stream. Toaster Gamer, welcome to the stream. Micah Boy, welcome back, my friend. And uh, it looks like our driver's name, or our firewoman, his name is Jessica. Thanks, Micah. Yeah, Jessica, it is. And I think the train actually sounds really good. We'll talk more about the sounds in a little bit. I have some comments on that. I have a lot of comments, and I'll be sharing those throughout the stream today. Um, I did already post a video driving the other train, the 8F, the freight uh, train, the freight steam train. And I uh, really have fun with that one, driving it in the snow. Definitely a pretty big challenge, but... Uh, it was a lot of fun as well. There it is, finally. Oh my god. That's number one, guys. That thing annoys me so much. That freaking... That's the safety valve we hear. And basically, it's back. Alright. It heard me talking about it. It's like, ah, <laughs> I annoy you. Watch. Watch me. Um, but basically, that goes off. I'm turning the UI back on. You can see this 
meter on the left, the top one, that is, uh, I believe that's our boiler pressure, right? Yeah, that's the boiler pressure. Right, now it's two. I think that's the boiler pressure. Yeah, that's the boiler pressure. When it gets to 225, the red line, that steam starts coming out the top of the, pl of the train. And in real life, there's a way for you to, you know, make sure that doesn't happen. Um, and even in Train Simulator Classic, um, because they do incorporate the firemen, being able to actually act as a fireman and uh, control the fire a bit more, uh, you can actually control that. But because in this version of Spirit of Steam, they did not include a, the ability to actually control the fire, um, you, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> Well, the, 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 the thing that really bothers me is, for one, it's always happening. Like, right now we're backing up. I don't need a whole lot of regulator. I'm, oh, the only time it ever shuts up is when you start putting in power. You know what I'm saying? So I put in, I just, I'm spinning the wheels right now just to get the thing to shut up. And um, when I take the power away and we're just coasting, the bullet pressure continues to build up and build up. It's going to get to 225, and then psh, Right. Um, if I can control the fire right or the water or whatever it is you got to do to fix it um that'd be great but uh later on that'll happen they'll they'll add the ability to to do more so uh, i just wish as a temporary fix i could do something um to just shut it the heck up it's super annoying uh, once we get going though it'll be fine it's just whenever you're not really moving much or if you're doing some shunting or you're just taking it easy um that's that's when you have the issue so we're gonna go via this next uh thingy or next uh, marker you can see you already got a bunch of passengers there in church clothes waiting for us to pick them up <laughs> hey if you guys have any questions in chat i know that uh, a lot of you guys may not know much about trains or about train sim world so i um, definitely down to teach you what i do know i'm not an expert either but uh, it is something that I have interest in, and I do enjoy playing Train Sim World and other train simulators, so. And honestly, until this DLC, I really had very, very little experience in Steam Trains in particular. It get dark through here. I love the smoke, though. You can never have enough smoke, though. Like, I love the smoke, but, you know, it'd be nice to have even more smoke. So I guess we're going to back up all the way back there. Uh, speed limit is, what's that, 30 or so? Then we're gonna crank it a bit. And we change the uh, backwards reverser to about 50%. I'll go ahead and release the regulator. We're actually going downhill now. Backing up, backing up. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up and we're gonna attach to the uh, vehicles behind us or the, uh, it should be some passenger cars back there. So basically what we're doing right now is we're setting up for a run down the line. So we're going to go back, we're going to connect to the train, and then uh, or the rest of the train, the passenger cars, and then we'll take them down uh, and do the service. A little bit of break at a 1.1% grade. See, so now I'm at idle on the regulator. There's no reason for me to input regulator. I've been trying to figure out a way to like keep my boiler pressure down without needing to use a regulator, but I haven't found a way to do it yet. So if you guys know, if there's any experts in the chat, let me know. Steam, what did I say? Coaches, yeah, sure, coaches. That's what you can call them. <laughs> Alright, a little bit of break, not too much. We put in about 30%. Got yellow signals, we got the light up ones, a lot easier to read. So this right here, on my road driver, is what I have for my brakes. This on my right, which is usually used as an independent brake if we were driving like American freight trains. Uh, but in Spirit of Steam, they are actually, actually using it as a regulator for a throttle. And then over here on my left, this is my throttle, sorry, my, my uh, reverser. Choose my direction. We gotta stop here. And I'm not sure if we have to wait for somebody to come out. Or what? No idea. We could poke your head out too if you want. And I'm gonna be a nosy driver and get out and walk over here. I'm like, yo, what's, what's the deal with the red signal? 
I gotta go back there, 48, 480 yards, what you got going on? Uh, Ted, it's really not that complicated, man. This is actually pretty simple the way they have it set up. But, I mean, if you know nothing about trains, then yes, there's a lot to learn. Um, but if you know basic knowledge of trains and how to fork, it shouldn't be too difficult. So most likely, the reason that we are stuck at this red signal is because there's something else down there that is coming out that we have to wait for. And we're going to take a look at that. So we are in. I have a light, I think. There you go. We'll turn this on. It's dark in here. And you can see we got the firewoman, Mrs. Uh, Jessica, taking care of the coal. And I'm going to hop in here. And I'm going to switch to the free camera. I'm lost. Where am I? I'm lost. Am I stuck? I'm stuck in. Yep, I'm stuck. My camera's stuck. Let's try it again. Nope. Oh no. Oh no, where am I? My camera's stuck. I can't find my way out. Or just use a map. So I don't see any any trains in the way. Maybe I need to like go to the signaler and ask him if I can go. Contact signal. Proceed. Oh, nice. There we go. That's all I have to do. Let's ask. <laughs> Just ask. I right, brakes release. We're still in reverse. And we can really just let it roll back. We're already downhill. Uh, Yabin Zuna, welcome to the stream, my friend. You have a question. Uh, does the Thrustmaster TCA... Uh, is it good for beginners? Oh yeah, definitely, man. It's a great joystick for beginners. All right, you see again now as I apply power, the boiler pressure, which is the water pressure inside of this tank, <laughs> goes up or goes down. Sorry, and that shuts up that safety valve, and that safety valve is basically bleeding pressure out of it, so we don't blow up. Thank you so much, Mr. Q400DHC, for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Good to see you, my friend. All right, we're almost there. Am I still stuck? No, I'm not stuck anymore. Yay. All right, so it looks like we're going to pick up these over here. we got lots of people, lots of customers. Actually, they're already filled and ready to go. I'm going to stand here. Oh, we're going a little fast. A little fast. Listen to that. It's all good, Mr. Q4, but uh, sadly, my friend, I do not trade follows. Uh, follow me because you want to follow me, not because I'm going to follow you back. So, I believe everyone has to earn their follower accounts. All right, here we go, and... Connected. Oh, we bounced off that thing. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> let's get a little bit closer, shall we? All right, I was going to turn the... Oops, that's not the brake. Turn the brakes off. A little bit of power. And... There we go. That's close enough. And we can actually go back to the front. We can get out. Open the door. Walk down here. And we'll couple them by hand. So I'm going to click on this guy. Oh, not that. Look at that. There's a click spot. I just saw it. And it went away. Couple. Interesting. Oh, uh, uh, coupler type, bug type. That's interesting. What does that mean? Can I change it? Oh, wow. That's interesting. I never noticed that. All right, I guess that's the end of that service. So I'm gonna hit continue, and this is the way I personally like to play. Like if I know I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do some train sim for a bit, I like to play the whole thing through. I like to start the train off from like turning it on if I can. There's not a lot of services that allow you to do that. Uh, I guess that comes from my flight sim <laughs> background. I like to be able to turn the train on, get it going, uh, put it in the service, and then take the service on. So we go back to return or free roam. I'm gonna find out what time does this service leave. It is now 8:39 local time, and I'm gonna sit in the seat. And it says uncouple. Okay, so I think we're good. So I'm gonna go to the back. 
So again, this is all, like, we didn't reload the game. This is all exactly how we left it. And uh, what we're going to do now, I guess, is go to the back of the train. So what happens is this train comes into the station. I think, what station? I think this is Lime Street Station. I think before we leave, uh, we're actually going to take a look at the station. But, yeah, before, um, this train will come in. And now he's at the end. And as you can see, we have another one here. So I have to disconnect him from the train. There we go. And I'm going to change the buckle type, coupler type, to uh, Buckeye. That's probably why we kept bouncing off the thing. Now we got the, uh, in the America we call it end of train device, but um, the tail lamp is what they call it here. And now we got, all we got to do is uh, move, is continue and lock the doors. So uh, again, I'm not going to worry about time in today's first drive. Usually I'm like really like trying to be on time, but whatever. It's like a first for me. So let's do a quick cab tour or what do you call it wagon tour uh coach tour yeah coach tour so this is uh where all the bags go i think it's also used as a um mail cart most likely i assume so you can put all that back here all the doors are animated might want to shut that one might want you might want to might want to you might want to <laughs> there it is nope that's oh that's another door okay cool i don't want to climb down i want to open the door Open. Door open. Open the door. Okay, I'm about to get out. Close. Close door. Door close. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, now I'm stuck out here. I'm gonna take this door. This door looks like it might know what's, know what's up. I right, open. Close. There we go. And in here, we have a handbrake. So you can actually twist this. I'm probably gonna break something doing all this stuff. Uh, once you turn the handbrake on, the train should not move, but uh, it is possible that it could. No. I'm going to put it back into fully off or fully disconnected. Your CPU runs hot with this sim. Uh, that, my computer runs really well with it, but I also have a pretty good computer um, for a game like this. I don't know where I come from, guys, in flight sim, freaking my computer is a snail. Uh, here is, I guess, some regular coaches. Very nice seats. Looks very, very good. Love all the texture work. It looks, it looks like the 50s. It legit looks like the 50s. I'm gonna walk towards the front. That's a uh, fire hydrant. Another door. Oh, we have people. Hello. Are you guys waiting for me? What are you, <laughs> bro? Might want to like this nice young lady is sitting in front of you, all dressed up with her hat and her brown shoes and you lucky just came right off the farm well but i guess we're taking you to work so uh, i ain't gonna i ain't gonna judge you huh i like this guy here has character he has a pink stripe on his hat is this your hat ma'am i think it might be hers wait you have a friend behind you with the same hat and it's green tie month gotcha you guys are killing the hat game i did not get the memo where's my hat at this is nowhere to be found Oh, those are those are brothers. Oh, they work together. Now the guy, he's a tax collector. <laughs> I like I like uh, the new var variations of passengers uh, for the era. I think that's probably a, a restroom, but I can't get in there, sadly. I believe we have seven coaches today that we'll be pulling. Yeah, very nicely done back here. I like it. Uh, there is, I think, I guess there's only two variations, because there's that one that we're in, and then I believe there is a first class. No, I want to do my own service, please, and thank you. Open, open. Oh, wait. Oh, what is this? Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> welcome. This is, where we, this is where we belong. First class. So one thing you guys can do, uh, if you were like, if you don't have Train Sim World already or don't know, uh, you could actually come in here and, you know, play as a um, passenger. So, you know, I think, you know, first class next to the ladies, we get to sit here and the train will eventually say, hey, do you want me to take over control? That's the thing I keep ignoring. And uh, the train will just continue and go. It do all the stops and you could, you know, walk around the train as the train is driving. You can get off at the station if you want. Hey, it's up to you what you want to do with your life. So anyways, um, I'm just, you know, I, I think I'm the best conductor is that the right job right job title conductor is it engineer wait wow did we just like first class for all the ladies 
All right, did your dad pay for this trip? Okay, here we are. That that's the dad, <laughs> and that's the uncle. They're business partners. Yeah, it's like majority of ladies in the front, and a few other family members. Is this? Yep, that's the and that's the front. I open this side. The oh, window opens, and I think we should get started. It's enough. Wait, you know what? Eh, there's not much to see in the station. The station looks great, but it's you can't actually go anywhere. But look at that. Looks great. Looks amazing. People are now getting off the train. Or on. I'm not sure what they're doing. And Jessica is up here been taking care of things. She's like, come on. Where are you at? We are so behind schedule. Why do I have a red light? I don't know. Unlock the left, please. Anybody going to get on? Anybody? Anybody want to get on my train? The Harry Potter Express. No? You good? Alright. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could drive cars, but that'd be a different game. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I think that'd be a different game completely. Uh, would I recommend Horseshoe Curve? Uh, you've been into American Freight lately and wanted to know my opinion. Uh, it's, you know... Yeah, yeah, I would recommend Horseshoe Curve. I think it's a great um, American freight route. I think if you're in the American freight, that's one of the must-haves you have to have for training some world too. I it's uh, I've already unlocked the doors. Why is it tell, still telling me to unlock the doors? I'm gonna close them and open them back up. Oh, okay. I guess we're done. <laughs> All right, all right, next stop, Edge Hill, platform one. And we do have the green light. That's good. Let's go back in the forward now. And it's finally time to do some driving. It only took us 30 minutes. Brakes release. This is our brake handle right here, our combination brake. And one thing we can do right here, this is the vacuum brake system. It's also shown, I guess, in here. And uh, once he gets to 21, we can start moving forward. To make it faster, you twist this big thing right here called the large injector, or ejector, to fully open. You'll see that the needle goes a lot faster now. And then we can close it back when it's done. And we'll start going before we start rolling backwards. And we'll get us a nice rollout too, how about that? Oh, listen to the chug. Let me get two toots in the chat again. Is it just me, or did everybody get off of my train? Because there were people in there earlier, now there's no one. Uh, speed limit is, I think, 15 coming out of here. And then after that, it'll go up to 30. Uh, now, one of the things that I love uh, about track IR, I am using this with this thing on my head is... Uh, it should be working, let's see. Yeah, so I can actually look around with no hands and look at, oh wait, where'd Jessica go? Who the heck is this guy? What? Did I tell her she could take a break? Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, what the heck? Jessica left us. Man, I was looking forward to driving with Jessica. I put my reverser back to like 50 or 60, something like that. I start rolling forward, pull back on the reverser, climbing up here 1.1%. But yeah, with Tracker AR, you can see I can look around, and this is the way I prefer to do it. Instead of using my mouse to look around, use my head to look around, and I can reach over and turn on and turn off the ejector if I want to click on whatever it is I want to click on. So it's super helpful to have that. I also like to do where I um, will press the left arrow key because I'm on PC. Let's get some power here. And then I can actually just lean out the window and like have a better look at what's going on out here. You know what I mean? I think I like that a lot. Alright, we don't need any sand. It's a nice dry day. 
Boy is going to go full throttle. Coming out of, I think it's, uh, I think we're coming out of Lime Street, right? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, too much power, a little fast. I'm going to do my best to try to follow the rules today. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. 2 2 from Geneva. What's up, Dio? Welcome to the stream, my friend. 2 2 for you. <laughs> yes, we do have steam trains now. Finally, finally, finally. But yeah, I like the lean out. And uh, I feel like you have a better look from out here. I wish this view was the lean out view. Because when you're standing here, this is the default lean out view. When you're sitting here, you have this glass or this windscreen that blocks your vision. Now, it's good to have there to block the wind out of your eyes block rain bugs whatever you have uh, but in you know in the game in the sim it's just it's kind of a bit harder to see especially when it's raining when it's snowing and stuff like that what up HDMI welcome to the stream man good to see you bro welcome welcome we are basically just getting started we, we what we've done so far if you just join us is we picked up this train from the edge, edge hill shed uh, which is basically where all the locomotives go to sleep and uh, we picked it up from there and we backed it up into the last station and uh, and then we picked up some uh, some passenger coaches and now we're headed for our first actual stop on our route climbing up here we got a yellow orange signal up ahead now another fun way I like to play this route and all routes when I can, but I want to get to a point where I don't need the HUD. I'm a, I'm a HUDless person. I like I like to have no HUD on. Um, obviously the HUD gives you a lot of things that help you. It gives you your speed, your pressures, uh, the next objectives. It tells you a warning of what the signals are ahead of you. Like for example, right now it says we have a red signal in about 700 yards. Now um, we don't really know that. If we didn't have the HUD on, <laughs> we kind of do. The last signal was yellow. Yellow usually means, hey, slow down. The next one might be red, but it's not guaranteed. So uh, we gotta be very careful in this first stop that we don't blast through it because we only have maybe a hundred yard buffer before uh, we reach a red signal. If we hit the red signal, that's the end of our day. We're fired. So I'm gonna try not to get fired in today's stream. That's my goal. My goal is to not get fired today. All right, here we come. I'm gonna lean out so I can get a better view. And give it some brakes. We're only going 20 miles per hour, so it shouldn't take be hard to stop at all. I'm doing about 60% braking right now. And you see we're already stopping early. I'm gonna give it some more regulators to kind of just give us a few chugs ahead. Come on, come on, baby. Just give me give me some. Give me some. Ah, we almost made it. Is it gonna count? Nope, not gonna count. Alright, well. I hate those brakes to release. A great way to get your brakes to release much faster is to go in the large ejector, bust it over to full open, give us some throttle, and just close those last few feet. See, we're spinning the wheels now because I'm being impatient. Oh my god, why you gotta be so picky? Why you gotta be so picky? Alright, stop there. Thank you. All right, now what? Unlock the doors? I can do that. Unlock right sides. And something else that I personally like to do, uh, just kind of keeps me occupied, is when I stop at some of these stations that are be here. Hey, what's? Hey, we need a new name, guys. Chat. What's this guy's name? He's a traitor. He kicked Jessica off the platform, and now we're stuck with him. I need a name for him. All right, we're at Edge Hill. But I like to get out the train, walk around the station, and sometimes there's little collectibles you can pick up. Sometimes there's not, but you never know until you go. I guess you guys are not riding with me? No? Alright. It is 8.54. But yeah, I just run around the station see if I can find anything interesting. Oh, hey guys. You guys are a cute couple. You don't look very happy. Neither of you. Look at her. Look at her. She don't look very happy at all. She's like... Alright, well, I gotta go. I gotta train to drive. All 
and lock the right side doors. Let's get a, a view of that real quick. Thank you so much, Keyshar Cody or Cuddy, for the follow. Welcome to the Blue River family. Good to see you, my good friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, lock the right sides. All right, brakes release. Oh wait, 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 wait a second. I'm a little confused. <laughs> that can't be it. That can't be it. All right, continue, please. Uh, back to free roam. We did one stop. There's no way there's only one stop. Can we keep going? Or what's next? Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Midnight! Choo choo all aboard. Choo choo all aboard. What's up, Midnight Maverick? Thank you so much for coming through with the super chat. Don't know. Thank you so much, man, for that support, man. I was uh, enjoying watching your stream the other day. Where you flying? You were uh, flying the F-18 top, uh, uh, top Gun. That was super dope. I, I gotta find out why this is not continuing. It doesn't give me a, another objective. Yeah, we finished that one. I guess that's it. Does this train just stop here? Is there another service? Let me get out and get back in. You don't have permission to drive this service. Okay, well, screw you. I'll find another train. There's a train over there. I'm going to take that one. Yeah. Won't let me drive you. I'm just going to break all the rules. Had a whole plan and everything. We're going to see if we can take one of these trains over here. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to run over here and take the train. I'm an angry employee. I got to Wait, now is he leaving without me? Are you serious? You're leaving without... Taking this train. Taking this train. They should be ashamed of themselves driving off my LMS. It's a beautiful train though, ain't it? Edge Hill Goods Station. Wow, can't believe you drove off my train. Hey, why can't I take... Where are you going? Like, where are you going? <laughs> Oh man, I feel left out now. I wasn't given a memo that we were going that way. All right, can I drive this train? Can I have this? Oh, I can take it. What are we gonna do with it though? I was gonna, you know what I should have done? Instead of like asking, I should have just drove. I should have just left. All right, let's see if it'll let me. There's no fireman here because uh, Jeff or whatever that guy's name. I'm not sure what you guys named him. I'm just gonna, I don't know where this track goes, but we're just gonna send it in that direction. Yeah, I don't know what's behind it. It's gonna go that direction. Alright, reverse or fort. Uh small ejector open. Large ejector open. Brakes release. And brake ship almost be fully applied. Yep, there it is. Oh, another train. Hey, what are you doing? He's going fast. Where is he going? I'm like so curious. <laughs> I'm so curious. <laughs> and we're closing our ejector. Two toots. And can we get moving? Ha ha, we can. Come on. Oh, we're spinning it. We're spinning it. Nope. Alright, sand. No. Alright, I'll be patient with it. Alright, here we go. We're looking good. We're looking good. I don't know where this goes. I really don't. Oh, it goes off the map. That's great. Hmm, is there a turntable we could hop on and hit on the other end and just go somewhere? No, there's no turntables over here. Alright, we're just going. We're going, guys. So this is the 8F. This is a, a different version. This is the black one. The freight version train. You can see we're pulling a few things. And uh, you know what? Because I know that we're going to get to the end of the map and the game's going to kick me out. And there's also a red signal up here. I'm going to do something stupid and crazy. Watch me. Where's the red signal at? 80, 80 yards. No! <laughs> it's 
not my train. You can't fail me. It's not my train. All right. Anyways, guys, let's stop messing around. Let's stop messing around. I'm about to explode my train sim. HDMI is downloading train sim world too. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. If you if uh, you guys missed out a while back, there's a sale going on where you get it for freaking free. Um, but hey, go for it, man. It's probably on sale right now, actually. I'm gonna hop in the Jubilee. I'm gonna do a legit service. Uh, sorry for the um, nonsense a second ago. We'll turn the wind up. Get it all nice and steamy. Uh, we're going to continue. And the one that I just ran was the 825. Yeah, the 825 Edge Hill uh, to Liverpool Shed. And then after that, I guess we picked up the Liverpool Lime Street to Manchester Exchange. Again, very weird the fact that it ends right there. I don't know why it ends there. I would love to find a service that continues from Manchester Exchange to wherever the heck uh, it should go. So this one just goes back in the other direction. I don't want that. Uh, so I guess we'll just pick one around the same time period. Uh, where will we be at Edge Hill, Lime Street, Lime Street to Chester? Let's do this one, Lime Street to Chester. That's what we'll do. Go to Leeds. I don't think that Leeds is included in this route, route, but there is another route that has Leeds in it. Maybe we'll have to try that. All right, my plan. Yeah, yeah, you quoted me. My plan was not to get fired today, and it was. Oh, I, I, I'm right. All right, we got nine cars in the back. Ooh, that sounds like fun. All right, it is. Uh, hey, we gotta. Get, all right, let's just do this fast because we gotta try to be on time. All right, we're gonna be a bit serious. This is a uh, serious blue now. This is legit. All right, while we're gone, we got an old guy as our fireman, and uh, I need chat to come up with a name for our fireman. The best one wins. Send it. Let me go disconnect the coaches from the back, and then we'll be on our way. I should have opened the doors before I started left. I think that's a good tip. Open the doors before you ha you come back here to uncouple. That'll save you some time. All right, turn that, and switch it to uh, the, the coupler to Buckeye. Run back to the front. And we'll unlock the doors. I think we have to head out of here by 8.38. Uh, hopefully you guys can see up the top left. Um, the very top time is the time that it is right now in game. And the one below that is the schedule time for whatever the next action is. So our next action is to leave. Alright, doors open on the right side. I'm going to set my camera views up. And we'll put a camera right here, it's gonna be a sick camera view right here. I like that. And I'll make another camera view. And I wish you could like make custom save camera views, you know what I'm saying? One of my favorite camera views I like to make is this one right here, right behind the fireman. Very dope view. I love that. Alright, that looks good. Alright, so we got passengers getting on and getting off the train. Uh, our scheduled departure time is 8.38. That's gonna come up in about what, 45 seconds? And again, we're back here at Lime Street. Very well designed and um, modeled train station here. Looks really good at night, too. And I don't think we can go back here. Oh, what? I, whoa. 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 I can go back. Oh, okay. There's a barrier. <laughs> I found it. Hey, leave it to me to, to find the barrier of how far I can go with my camera. Look at these old school trains. What am I watching? What is this? Mr. Rogers? That is cool. Actually, you know what? it reminds me of the train from Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, it's locked the doors. <laughs> or the car from Thomas the Tank Engine. There is already mods. There are already mods. Yes. There are already mods that exist for that. I know I know what you're thinking. I reverse in the Ford, track IR on, so I can look around. Uh, brakes off. Um, we'll neutralize a reverser. Uh-oh. And go full open. That should be enough. Close it. Regulator. About, we'll start with 14, 18%. And I'll get a little drive by view here. Listen to it, listen to it. There's a train here waiting at the turntable. Maybe we should wait at the turntable too.
Felix. I mean, Micah's coming with the great names. I like that. I like Felix for the name of the guy. Let me see. What else? Arthur. You know what? I like Arthur. I think, Micah, you chose the first name of Jessica. We'll go with the name of Arthur. So our fireman's name is officially Arthur. I like it. That sounds, sounds about right <laughs> for the time period. Now, one thing that's really cool about the rail driver is uh, you guys can't actually see it, but over here on my left, this little LED screen, and it actually has my speed on it. So I don't have to see look here on my uh, UI to find out my speed is. I can look right here on my rail driver. So it's night. It's pretty dark when you come out of. Uh, I think we're in Lime Street. Out of Lime Street. Let me make sure that Lime Street. Yeah. No, sorry. Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool, Lime Street, and we're headed to Chester. So when you come out of here, you come underground, I believe, underneath all the bridges and streets. It's really cool looking. Very dark, especially if you're driving at night. Look at the smoke that's billowing out. And I think, honestly, so far, this is my favorite livery I've found for this train. I love the green one, don't get me wrong, but I like this one a lot, too. I don't know if it's a realistic one. I don't know. I'm not British. <laughs> <laughs> no, no freaking clue. I just think it looks good. All right, we are clear to go 30 miles per hour. So we'll give us some, give us some guns. Yeah, you can actually see cars. You see uh, cars driving over these bridges. So, like I said, if I lean over. I can look out the window like this. Now I've made a custom track IR profile that does that's like way better, but for whatever reason, it doesn't like trains in world and it like turns itself off. Doing alright over there, Arthur. Yeah, he's just in the dark. Mr. Arthur. Arthur, 68 years old, been on the railroad for 70 years. <laughs> He always tells me stories about how he used to go to work up, up, uh, you know, up a hill both ways. That's Arthur. <laughs> uh, which button is it to make the camera stand still in a location whenever you try to choose cameras? Your cameraman just starts sprinting away from the train at the same speed of the train. Uh, to do that, if you're on PC, I don't know the button for it on. Um, on Xbox or PlayStation, but on PC it is the 8 key. If I click on the 8 key, that is basically the free camera, and then I can use my arrows and then the shift key to go fast, but you use the arrows and you can actually just watch, you know, put it wherever you want to put it, and do kind of like a, a train spotting camera like this, and then wait for the train to come up. Absolute favorite thing to do in Train Sim World. <laughs> favorite thing to do. We do have a stop coming up, so let's get ready to stop. Uh, no red signal afterwards. We got green all ahead. Oh, we're on the right side. Yeah, we're good. And we're trying not to stop early this time. We got 20 miles per hour coming up, 200 yards. We'll start breaking at 150. Let's try that. And here comes 150. I'm sorry, easing on the brakes. more it's about 65 percent brakes pulling it out and we're stopping early give me some chugs and there we go application 80 percent and we have a stop and unlock the left doors so what i what i've learned in reality um trains like these usually have uh what do you call those people door guards i guess um the people that like the guys who like stand at the doors and they're the ones who actually open and close the doors when we stop but um that is not simulated in this uh simulator yet so you have to just hit the tab key or whatever key you use for doors on console and open up all the doors on whichever side 
beautiful day out here. In Edge Hill. That looks so good. I got some I gotta get some screenshots of this train, man. Might have to change up the thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always use the free camera. Uh, lock left. Thank you very much. Brakes release. Reverse or forward. If you look real close, you actually see whenever we whistle, the whistle actually smokes. Watch this. All right, let's get some power. We'll get out of here. Oh, spinning the wheels a little bit. Sparks are flying. My brakes on? What's going on? Man, we are shaking a lot. Yeah, so it's be it's best to ease into it. But you know, sometimes we get impatient. And we just throw a whole fifty percent of throttle into it and just go. go and once we get some speed we can bring the reverse for back a little bit don't want to go any lower than 25 and we do have a big hill coming up so I'm actually gonna get floor it and we're good to go and watch how the smoke interacts with the actual bridge here It kind of looks like it goes through it, but in reality, it actually does go underneath and stops. Alright, so we have a 20 mile per hour speed limit coming up in about 0 0.6 miles. Our next stop is coming up in 1.2 miles. And it's not me shaking my head, but the actual cab of the train bouncing back and forth right now. That's why it's bouncing so much. Watch your head! <laughs> Under the bridge we go. Yeah, I like this section right here. This little area is really cool. It's like tracks going freaking everywhere. And most likely the reason why we have a speed limit change or a slowdown ahead is because we're going, uh, probably going to be switching tracks or something. We're already going uphill, so I'm just going to let gravity slow us down. Look at that massive incline. A little bit of power, make sure we get above it. Hey, what track are we switching on? This one right here? Yep, there it is. Alright, we're coming to our stop. I don't think it's this station. I think it's the next one. Um, this one, there's nobody there. It might be abandoned. When you drive diesels, you take a beer. When you drive steam, you take a pipe. That sounds about right. <laughs> That's funny. I actually see the stop marker up there. All right, one more drive-by before we get there. One more. We'll be doing this all stream long. In the grass. How about that? I can dig it. Alright, I'm going to try to do this stop with no HUD. Hopefully don't roll past it. Are you good, Arthur? You got eyes on? Oh, he's shoveling. He's not listening. 
There's some cows over there. Wow, we got a lot of people ready to get on this one. A lot of people. Alright, let's just slow down. Put in some brakes in. And we're looking good. And welcome to Sefton Park. And right on the marker, we are looking good. That's to be left side doors, left side doors. Nice, no HUDs. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm gonna have to gonna hop out on this one. I wanna see what Sefton Park has to offer. You guys getting on my train? Tickets, tickets please. Nothing, nothing here. Oh, wait. found something. Bling. London for your holidays. Back in 1958. This is probably a really good place to do some train spotting up here. Oh yeah, this is a good spot for train spotting. There we go. Look at all these houses. I don't know what you guys call it in in, in Europe, but in in the in the States we call this the project. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go back up before we uh be late. Are we on time? Oh, dang. We're already two minutes late. Yeah. Lock the doors. Don't mind if I do. And brakes release. Yep, I love the little toots as well. My my brakes on because we're spinning the wheels. We're going downhill. Yeah, Karen is gonna be mad at us. She's always mad at us. I am loving the brakes today. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, next stop, 0.7 miles. We got Mosley Hill, platform three. Need to be there by 8:51. It is now 8:52. <laughs> hey, I'm not fired yet, so we're okay. Downhill, 0.9 percent. Looking good. Yeah, this train's a lot of fun to drive. It's it's pretty simple. Um, personally, I wish it was more difficult uh, to drive it, but uh, I do understand that they did kind of simplify a lot of the controls. All right, let's watch out. This is gonna probably be our biggest test so far. I'm throwing the brakes, full application from 500 yards, and see where we land. Yeah, I think we're gonna stop early. I think we're gonna start stop early. Yes. Uh, maybe not. We can kinda take the risk because there is no red signal afterwards. Yep, yep, stop short. And honestly, we could stop right here if we want, but it just bothers me to not make it to the end of this <laughs> platform. I right, screw it. Just stop the train. Just stop. Just stop. All right, unlock the right side doors. Put a little bit of brakes in so we don't roll it off with the doors open. Yeah, I'd be smashing these brakes. You guys know. Oh, we're rolling. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Hope nobody got hurt back there. Look how this track is like leaning. You see that? That's interesting. 
Is it only this one or is this one like that too? Like we're literally leaning to the to the right. But it looks like we're falling. Are we derailed? Nah, we're good. Car Exchange Specialist Brayers LTD. Where are we again? What is this place called? This is Mosley Hill. Alright, if you're coming to my train, we're leaving you. Yep. We out of here. <laughs> it's set down. Wait for the next train. You're late. Well, I'm already late, but you're more late than I am. Alright, brakes should be releasing. We're gonna go. It's good to kind of mess with the large ejector. It'll help you get everything released much faster. I think it's also, if you're really trying to stay on time, I think it's a good idea to, um, to actually start releasing the brakes early, like even before you shut the doors. From the times I've been playing this route so far, it feels almost, I, I, I want to say almost, but I think it's legit impossible um, to meet every stop at the correct time. Like, I don't think it's even possible to. I'm going to keep trying. The more I play and see if I can, like, find the right formula to get the train off the platform into the next one at the time it says above. But I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible. All right, we're going downhill 0.3. A little bit more. You can see he's tossing some more coal in the fire. Mr. Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Who, who's Arthur Morgan? Where did he, when did he get a last name? Either way. I right, reverse her around 43, 45, 32. That looks good. Here we go. We're on the roll. Is it a terrain bug? Mosley Hill shouldn't be like that. Maybe it is. Yeah. I I don't know because I'm not from here, so it could, you know, at will could be the way it is. I mean, maybe it's some kind of engineering reason why that is angled like that. All right, so our next stop is right under this bridge. I want to get like a shot going underneath it, but that's not going to happen. So we're going to have to get on those brakes a little early. Here comes a train at 36, 37 miles per hour. And we'll pull back the thing. We'll pull back the regulator and start getting on the brakes. So I think as we go on through this route, we're going to keep breaking later and later until I find the sweet spot. <laughs> and I think we missed it this time. Oh yeah, we missed it this time. Oh, wait. Maybe not. May maybe not. Maybe not. That looks good to me. That look That's perfect. That is a perfect stop. That is a perfect freaking stop. Unlock the left door. Hello, safety. Anybody getting on? Are oh, you getting off? All right, I'll see you. Have a good day, my friend. Good, have a good day. Yeah, the ones back here, I guess the platform is too short to catch all of it. And really, I think in rate, uh, we probably should have pulled up even more. So I wonder if this stop marker is for the back of the train and not the front. I don't know. I don't see anything around here to mess with. Uh, what station is this? Anybody from around this area? West Allerton. Again, this is West. This is a. Uh, this is the region as of 1950 so like this is like if you're from here everything's not gonna look as it does today this is a historical route and locking the left side doors all right brakes release and the thing that i keep forgetting is that when i put my brakes back to release i still gotta wait for the vacuum uh to reach 21 and that's why you see me spinning the wheels because the brakes are still on oh here comes the train Train! That's a freight train. Alright, our turn. You wanna see sparks? Oh, it's not doing it now. 
course you're not. All right, no more spinning. There we go. All right, next stop, one mile. I believe this full thing is supposed to take us about 37 or 45 minutes um, to get all the way to the uh, our last stop. All right, bring the reverser back to about 25%. But the way the reverser works, the reverser is this guy here. Big spinning thing, and it kind of works Similar to like a uh, a car gear, like the uh, like transmission. You start off in 75, which is like gear one, and you go all the way down like to 25, which is like you know six gear, or whatever. More efficient. All right. 40 miles per hour. What do you think our braking point is here? Are we going to be Mr. Late Braking Ricardo? I'll go ahead and bring the throttle out or the regulator out. And we'll brake at 550. And here comes 550. Full application. See how we do. Ah, we're going to be early. We're going to be early. I think we're going to be early. Yep, I'm right, pulling out the brakes. Well, the thing is, when you release the brake, you're not really releasing it because the brakes are running throughout the entire train. And so it takes a bit of time for it to completely release. And that's why you see me putting throttle back in again, a regulator in, to try to counteract the brakes releasing because it takes some time. Reverse back to 75. Here comes our start marker and full, full app. Don't tell me we stopped short. I was going to be pissed. There it is. I think the whole train fit this time. And over to the left side. Welcome aboard, guys. All aboard. Anybody getting on? There's a few, few people back there getting on. Uh, did I know that the Flying Scotman, Scotsman is turning 100 years old? I did not know that. Wow. Are there more than one Flying Scotsman? Or, like, where is it? <laughs> Arthur Moore. I love how you guys are creating a backstory for the Fireman. This is amazing. We gotta write this down for next time. Not in flicks. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Welcome aboard. If you are just joining us, guys, we are trying a, a different game today, playing Train Sim World 2. And this is the LMS Jubilee British Railways rocking the crimson colors. And we just stopped, and I'm not sure what city this is or what town. We'll lock the doors. Oh, Al Allerton. We're in Allerton right now. Alright, brakes release. Horn. Two hoots. Or two toots. Not <laughs> two hoots. And uh, wait for the brakes to release, and then we'll be on our way, continuing down a hill. But uh, Arthur Morgan is an absolute beast. A man currently working the coals after a lifetime of crime in Western America. And a gang led by Dutch Vanderlyn. Wait, is this Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> Alright, brakes. Alright, we're still got the brakes are still releasing. But uh, we should be able to pull it off now. I believe fully released vacuum brakes are about 21. And uh, we were 19 when I started trying to go for it. But again, as we start pulling forward, you can see now that shuts off that safety. As we start putting pressure, or as soon as I pressure, as we start taking pressure out of the boiler, when we increase the regulator. All right, next stop is in 4.8 miles, Denton Junction, platform two. That means we get to really cook it. All right, Arthur, it's time to go hard or go home, my friend. All 
All right, full regulator all the way wide open. And we are moving our reverser back to 25. X, X con Arthur Morgan riding along with us in the Jubilee. Oh, there's only one flying Scotsman. Okay, wow. And it's a hundred years old. That's nuts. That is nuts. Yeah, I personally never got the opportunity to see a steam train in real life. Uh, would love to go to a train museum or something like that. And uh, oh wow, speed limit's going to 50 miles per hour, like in 300 yards. We're not stopping. I'm sorry, we're not gonna be able to stop. I'm just gonna go ahead and save my progress right now in case anything bad happens from now on. Because uh, that that means that we're most likely gonna have a uh, a change on the track. Probably this one or this one. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Ah, oh, we, we can do that at 45. Oh yeah, we moving now. What is this, a high speed train? Now yeah, we can basically let it go. Run it for the next four miles. All the way to Ditton Junction. And I think this is a good time to get us a drive-by. If we can beat the train, let's go. Go to the tunnel. Uh, I do know that the Flying Scotsman is one of the most popular trains, but uh, I don't know much else about it. <laughs> That's about it, my friend. That is it. Alright, here he comes. That's cool. One more. Three miles. Alright, so we can get a cow shot. Any cows out here? Any cows out here? I don't see any cows. I'm gonna find one cow. Two cows are good too. I know one. Oh, there's some cows over here. Oh, now, brown cow. Oh, they're moving. <laughs> here we go. It's the money shot right here. <laughs> I love that shot. There's just something super British about it. Alright. We'll pull the power back as we're going 75 miles per hour. Oops, I think I just stood up. Yeah, I did. We are on the move. But it's coasting down a hill now. Look at the reflection here off of the side of the boiler. When I zoom out, you can see it, kinda. That's pretty nice. Nice effect. All right, so we're going 73 miles per hour, and that means we're gonna have to stop a lot earlier. I don't know how much earlier. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, not inflict, where did I get the uh, Velo Airlines 737 livery from? I got it from uh, where, the same website you get the level up, 737. Matter of fact, Thursday, which is two days from now, we'll be flying the Avello 737, so stay tuned for that. Alright, I don't know how soon we should stop. How about now? I'll start at least putting in 50%. I like this view. Let's do this view here. Yeah, we need more. A lot more. Full application. Full app. Uh, DCS stream. That'll probably be maybe next week if I can fit it in. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to stop in time. Well, we might. 
We might. We freaking might. Now, I believe the station we're approaching now is Ditton Junction, and this is one of the larger stations on the route. Not the biggest, but one of the larger ones. And, oh, as we're going to probably roll through it, but we might still make sense of it here. Let's see. Right, there's no, like, bad signal ahead. Let's see. I think uh, that's a pretty good stop. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Are you guys ready to go? Y'all waiting for me? Are y'all getting on? Y'all's gonna stand there and look at us like I'm crazy. Okay, there she goes. Cool, cool. Yeah, how far forward did we go? I think we got all the coaches on the platform, I believe. Oh, there's a water thing right here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I wanna rewater real quick. Let me show you guys what's up with the rewater or with the uh, water. I can't see the platform. Yeah, actually, looks like we got all the doors that matter um, from first class and back on the platform. So not too bad of a stop. Not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll roll forward just a little bit. And then we're going to uh, refuel our train with some more water. Just a little bit, not too much. What is that? Oh, it's a door just opened. What was that one? Get on. Get in. Get in. Alright, so shut the doors. Lock everybody in here. Like, we're already late, so I just li literally don't care anymore. <laughs> and I think we're actually almost done with the, uh, with our, uh, our service, with our shift. So I'm gonna release the brakes a little bit. Just get us going forward just a tiny bit. Maddie, what's up, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hopefully, you're doing well. And brakes are still releasing. Again, on these trains, it takes a bit of time for the brakes to release, so it's not like a car where you just stop immediately and immediately go. So, yeah, so our water tank is behind the coal. So that's when we get it kind of like right next to it. And right there should be good. Brakes. And I'll hop out of the train. Walk over here. And we can actually grab the hose. That's me holding me grabbing the hose. And we'll climb up. Here we'll open up the water tank. And we'll drop that in there. And we'll climb down, walk over here. And open the water valve, and that's gonna start watering our train. I should say, filling the train with water. Pretty cool. You can also, on um, this places that you can refill the coal too. Now, the one thing that they didn't do, and I don't know why, um, I don't know if this actual train in real life does has or doesn't have it, but some trains will have like a water gauge somewhere. Um, this one doesn't seem to have one anywhere so you don't actually know how much water is in the only way you know how much coal is in here is by looking back here at how much coal is in here <laughs> so i'm pretty i'm assuming we have enough water i don't think it's even possible to run out of water um so can i click on this now oh i think i have to turn the water pump off first all right so turn off the water valve walk over here climb up Open it. And we'll just release it here. Oh, well, what would happen? <laughs> there we go. Uh, let go. Put it down. There it is. Now it's just hanging there. And climb back up and close the door. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, door's already shut. Ready to go. I believe we only have. Looks like one more stop. And uh, rain, rune corn. <laughs> Probably said that all wrong. All right, let's go. Two toots. One for the culture. Brace releasing. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. I can't complain. I had work this morning at the airport, and uh, it was hot. But again, I can't complain. 
that's not me complaining, that's just me saying facts. <laughs> I believe they did something special with the water too to make your water look a little better. And it does look better, it's not like the horrible repeat pattern that it used to be. Alright, brakes are released, reverser is forward, and regulator up, and let's get another drive-by. Oh, I think we're spinning on tires. There we go, now we're moving. Now, I think the sounds are pretty good. Um, the only thing I kind of, well, not the only, there's a few things about the sounds that are kind of tricky. Um, the main thing is the safety. The safety, whenever it, it goes off, like that loud air breathing noise, uh, it, uh, it kind of drowns out everything else, which it, it does in real life too, which is, is fine. Uh, but in the sim, it just gets annoying. I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream uh, about how it'd be nice to be able to control uh, either the volume of it or just the fact that it keeps going off um, but you can't because you can't, there's no ability to do like firemen and whatnot yet I believe the way that you would control that is by making some adjustments to things I right, have a big climb ahead let's make sure we make it so I'm gonna go full throttle or I should keep I keep saying throttle but you know what I'm saying full regulator and look at behave about to go over a bridge and I want to make sure we make it. 0.7%, 0 0.9. Still 0 0.9. And it looks like, yeah, it's, it's the train is trying to get faster, but we're kind of stalling at 30, 28, it's climbing really slow in the speed now. Look at those wheels. Big wheels. Big wheels, big brain. Sounds good, Ted. I'll see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Always a pleasure to have you on board with us today, man. love the way the wheels look. Absolutely love. I think the texturing, the modeling, everything they've done visually is just beautiful in this train. It really is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, the smoke I think looks pretty good. I wish there was more of it. I wish there was more like a, a longer trail of smoke. It was stopped kind of, don't we? Now we're okay. Um, the smoke stops about, you know, almost to the end of the train. I wish we would just continue <laughs> farther. <laughs> Uh, I wish the smoke changed color depending on, you know, things. Like to like dark black smoke. Look at this section we're going over here with the big bridge. Now this right here is my favorite part of the whole route. Going over this massive bridge. Now if you're carrying a real heavy train in the snow. <laughs> Uh, and you did not plan to go any like your speed out well, then uh, it can be very tricky, and you could end up stalling out at the top of this bridge, have to back up and get some more momentum. Speaking of bridges, there's a drawbridge over here for a ship to go under. I think. I think this is a drawbridge too, maybe. I'm not sure. And I like this part too. Looks sick. Alright, stops coming up in 0 0.6. 1,000 yards. Here we go. Alright, we got one more stop to pull this off. We're going 48 miles per hour. Regulators coming out and brakes going on. At about 850 yards. We're probably going to get stopped a little too soon. Get ready to pull the brakes out. We're going uphill to pull them out already. I already know we're going to. We break too early. Throwing the power back in. 500 yards is approaching. Again, it's our final stop. Oh, 
red signal afterwards too. Back on the brakes, full lap. And it's gonna be early again. It's so crazy, like I feel like the train is supposed to take much longer to get stopped, and yet I keep I keep freaking breaking too early. Hold on, let me release the brakes a bit for me. Come on, a little bit. Just halfway on the ejector. Thank you. What do you guys think about my chemtrails? <laughs> Alright, let's get slowed down here. And again, you see where that red signal is? We cannot go past that or we get fired. And I don't want to get fired today. Ooh, stop, 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 You stupid train. We got fired. We got fired. We freaking got fired. Bro, we made it through the whole darn thing and then we got fired at the end. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Can you believe that? That's crazy. That's some nonsense. That's, that's, B, that's F's in the chat. That's what that is. Oh, man. Why you gotta do me like that? Why you gotta do me like that? Alright, well. So, back to the main menu. Right? You, yeah. Big rip. Massive. <laughs> you see? Sheesh. Why you gotta do me like that? Alright, uh, I'm not redoing the whole thing over. I liked it. I'll redo it later on my own time. Let's show the ADF some love. We'll do a short freight turn. And then uh, that'll be it for us today. Let's see. Uh, we did like morning-ish. We'll do like evening-ish, afternoon-ish. Uh, Edge Hill Shed to Edge Hill Yards. No. Uh, drive this branch freight service from Ditton Junction to Speak. 13 minutes. Give it to me. I'll take that one. 2 o'clock. We'll do that one. That sounds good to me. Yeah, honestly, the whole route was like almost perfect. Almost perfect. And we got fired. Put us on a different train. They should pay me more for that. I agree. <laughs> Do a passenger train, just a normal train. What does that mean? We just did a passenger train. If you mean do a modern train, not today. Today is all about steam trains. All right, so we're, for some reason, at a station uh, with a freight train. I don't know why. That uh, doesn't sound right. But uh, we are. And we are going to get the train going. Very simple, just, again... Reverse her all the way to Fort. Like so. We'll make sure track IR is working. Track IR is working. And we'll release our brake. Turn on the large ejector again. That's going to help us release the brakes. We see our vacuum to 21. Turn it back on. Close the cylinder cocks. And let's get some chugs. Twenty-two percent. Oh, spin the wheels a little bit. We're still spinning. Yeah, we're still spinning. My rims keep spinning. There we go. Looking good. No more wheel slip. Uh, go via location, slow line. So we'll just, that does not mean stop, that means just go via. Alright, so we got Arthur with us again. Or it might be Arthur's son because he doesn't have gray hair. Yeah, I think it's Arthur's son. This is a whole different guy. Not the same guy. I requested Arthur specifically and they gave me this guy. Oh, wait, we need a new name now. We need a new name. All right, we're good to go. Uphill 0 0.6. Full throttle. Reverse is coming back. And again, it's super easy to drive. It really is. Like, I mean, it's it's not difficult at all. There's a couple things to know. When you start the train, you go down here. Reverser, full forward. Uh, make sure your small ejector is off. Or open, I should say. Large ejector. You can leave it closed. You don't have to change it, but it just makes brake releasing much faster. Brakes off, and then you go. It's basically only two extra steps to get going, and that's just a little ejector thing. You said, you know, change those, and then you're good to go. So yeah, this is the 
8F, as they call it, the freight steam train. It's basically a freight version of what we just were in. And it looks really good. I love how, like, kind of, like, dirty and old it looks. A red signal? Is that a red signal? No. Oh, two, two miles. 1.2 miles. It also has, uh, what do they call this thing? Uh, the, the, it's not a caboose. It's something else. I can't remember what you call this thing in the back. Box car? Box, box van? A van? I don't know. It's a weird British name. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's back here. You can actually get inside of it if you want. And, uh, oh, I can open the door. Cool. Yeah, I can't go any farther than that. But you can get, go on foot and actually go in here and do things. And there's a little furnace in there, which is pretty cool. Oh, we're spinning our wheels. Why are we spinning wheels? Uh, we have a... Okay, green. Good, it's green. Look, we see a screeching. Look at all the sparks. Yeah, they're losing grip. You can hear the wheels screeching as well. I'm not sure why that's happening. It's not slippery. I'll just go like halfway open the regulator. That should be good enough. Is it just me or is this thing louder than the other train we were just on? Alright, drive by time. Go to the tunnel. It does sound good, I agree, man. The brakes are tricky. I, I think of everything this, on this train as far as difficulty wise, the brakes are tricky. I don't think it's hard to get going. It's actually much easier than I expected. I remember spending hours in Train Simulator Classic trying to get the trains going, the steam trains going. Alright, I want another one. Another one. I'm gonna be quiet on this one. Should we do another moo shot? A moo shot. Let's get another. Oh wait, sheep. Do they make noise? No noise from the sheep. How disappointing. <laughs> it's not study level. There's no sheep. <laughs> There's no sheep sounds. They're discriminating against all sheep kind. The cows have sound, but the sheep don't. Look, there's a car down here just like just stranded. I guess he dropped all his boxes of milk. Are we gonna see it from here? Can I see the train from here? Uh, Fonz, do I recommend it? Yes, 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 I do. I mean, it's hard not to recommend it since it does not have any competition. Oh, that's a gorgeous shot right there. Alright, more regulator. More power. Alright, we are 1.8 miles from the next stop at location. I want to put it right here on this uh, old platform. Looks like it was torn down and abandoned. Are we on the left or the right? It doesn't matter. We'll leave it right here. Uh, name the new coal person James. All right, that sounds good. Uh, no sheep sounds equal unplayable. I agree, my friend. I don't recommend it anymore. <laughs> But yeah, honestly, my, my honest thoughts on this train is it's a lot of fun to drive. Uh, it's not that difficult. I would like it if it was a bit more challenging. Um, but it can be more challenging in like rain and snow when you have to wor worry about wheel slip. Uh, braking is definitely something you got to get used to. As you can see, this whole stream we've been trying to figure out the braking. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a great intro to steam trains. A great intro. 
Um, hopefully they'll continue to make changes and edits to it. Um, I'm hoping. I don't. I don't think they're gonna abandon it. I, I don't believe that at all. I just hope they don't take a year to make changes to this route and add the things that people want. All right, we have a big turn up coming up. It's gonna hurt. And we got a stop coming. Now, stopping with this train is a bit different than the other one. It's the same concept, but it's heavier. Um, I don't think they would use this term, but back th back in the day, this train had much more horsepower than the Jubilee. The Jubilee was only really made, from what I understand, f mainly for like passenger stuff and maybe some light freight. But this train right here is mainly meant for the heavy, the heavy jobs. You know what I'm trying to say? So I believe we'll be dropping all this stuff off right here. Oh, got some glitches in those uh, car and those wagons. But yeah, I kind of have the sounds turned down, but whenever I play on my own time, I I bump the sounds up all the way up, and you can hear everything. Especially if that safety's not running on, then you can hear everything. So kind of playing with the regulator just kind of keep it to keep us going we are going uphill now and then once we get to the end we'll we'll level dump the brakes uh, the 8f is the second most powerful steam local in the UK Wow well talk gaming thank you for coming out bro and sharing that knowledge again I'm learning a lot of us are learning and uh, this is why I love streaming train sim because I always learn something new all right, I got 16% break. I'm just gonna let it come to a nice and slow stop. Um, don't have to be super precise in this case. The red signal's way up there. And there we go. Welcome. We done it. We did it. We didn't get fired. Oh, <laughs> we lived. Wait, is that it? Wait, we gotta keep going. There's more. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought it was over. Why you want me to stop here? I right, let's release the brakes now. Now um, it's a mystery. What do they want me to do? But yeah, as I was saying, that's one of the reasons why I love streaming in general, especially you know, new games. And this is not a new game. This game's been out for years, but. It's different games because I always learn a little bit more about that subject. And I mean, I play a lot of Train Sim uh, off stream. I posted a ton of videos of Train Sim. Um, and every time I post a video, I get comments uh, with corrections and even just more just facts and knowledge about stuff. And I love learning from the community because I mean, I, I know a lot about certain things and I know nothing about other stuff. I'm definitely more knowledgeable about American trains and American modern freight trains than anything else. But I love to explore and, uh, and try planes from Europe, from the UK, France, all over the world, see how things work. I'm the kind of guy who likes watching how it's made or uh, dirty jobs or, you know, like, I don't know, I love learning about other professions and stuff like that. And I think that's why I'm so interested in the simulators, is because of that reason. Alright, we're going downhill. Uh, the train's gonna keep picking up speed. And it looks like they're gonna have us switching over tracks, and they might actually have us dump uh, these freight cars behind us somewhere, which would be pretty cool. Look at that thing, it looks good, doesn't it? Look at the grime coming off the front. That's pretty sick. All right, here comes our stop marker. And we have plenty of room to stop. We still got 400 or so yards until we meet the, oh, whoa, camera. <laughs> so we meet the red signal. Yeah, they're gonna have us back up somewhere. That much I do know. 
speak uh, stop at speak a section zero two all right we're at that's over here yes we came in on this line and they want us to put it into this one so I'm gonna check on the tracks make sure all the tracks are set for us this one's automatic that one's going straight this one's gonna go right wait yeah yeah right and then left and then straight in cool all right so we're gonna send uh, our imaginary third guy <laughs> to the back of the train and yeah, he's gonna ride to the back and uh hold the brakes for us so i'm gonna release the brakes i guess the grass people finally came perfect timing and as the brakes release we should see the train start to roll backwards it's gonna take a second All right, Maddie. I'll see you later, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, James is working real hard. <laughs> Look at him. He's dirty. He's dirty. All right, power. Oh, wrong direction. Wrong direction. Need to go backwards. I tell you, whoever works this handle right here is getting a workout. All right, send it. I love the sparks. That's so cool. Alright. I might have to use brakes to get stopped first before I can go backwards. Hold on. Brakes. We're rolling down the hill. How heavy are we? We are 382 tons. Or 384. Yeah, 382 tons. That's not that bad. You got nothing on my American freight. And this actually might be more tricky than I thought, getting going backwards here. Let's use some sand. <laughs> there we go, we're rolling. There it is, we got it. So that's basically kind of like the tricky part sometimes is if you do get stuck on a hill, um, it's just kind of getting it going. You just got to be patient with it. Start off with a little bit of throttle and then as the speed comes up, if you need to use sand, put some sand down. And then as you start getting gaining momentum and speed, you can actually start putting a lot more throttle in. My dog is freaking out at the door. <laughs> I'm almost done, bro. I'm almost done. I'm going to ride in the back. Very cool. <laughs> I want to appreciate some of those sounds for a second while I have people cutting grass in the background. Thought it'd be a good time to mute myself and enjoy some of the in-game sounds, but you can actually see there's smoke coming out of this uh, brake van, things what they call it. Um, the reason why is because we had turned a furnace on in there. I'm not sure what the furnace is for. I'm not sure if it's actually for heat or if it actually powers something. I don't really know. Um, but you can see that actually behind us there are some bumpers back there.
and we'll stand here and we'll call it back so you're about uh, 10 back five back keep coming three two one all right let's go ahead and stop it uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh. I love the little bounce. It just went boop. <laughs> that was cool. I wish this thing had replay mode. I would love to watch like my whole run back. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but you know what? Before it gets too loud around here, guys, I'm going to bounce. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this so far. I'm just going to return to free roam and just enjoy myself here. We'll, we'll tie down the aircraft. We'll get the reverse back in neutral. Get the brakes. Make sure they're set to on. We'll have the. Um, Put on the small ejector back on the close and uh thank you so much peter for your help and a uh, big shout out to uh all of our other firemen in today's stream uh including arthur morgan and i think it was jessica so thank you guys for all or thank you guys and woman for your help so Cole's all good we'll get out and uh explore the yard a little bit but uh yeah i really really enjoy this train I, not just this one but just this dlc in general i think it's a must-have if you're into trains, period. Um, it's like a respect to our history. It's a historic route. Even if you're not into British routes or British trains, I think it's just think it's some fun to be had for everybody. And I know some people are coming from Train Simulator Classic, and they've been able to appreciate some amazing steam trains that they've had on Train Simulator Classic. And this does not really. Uh, I'm not saying this is better than that at all. As a matter of fact, I think Train Simulator. Classic has much better steam train experiences, uh, but you don't get the nice graphics <laughs> um, So they did a pretty good job with this. I think there's still some work to be done There's still a lot of potential in this DLC uh, in this add-on and a lot of things can be you know It could be amazing. It could be even let me say this. It is amazing, but it could be a lot better um, incorporate being able to have a you know be a fireman if you want to be maybe incorporate an advanced mode so people like me or other people who are like hardcore train simmers if they want to be more difficult they can go in and, and make it more difficult by turning on advanced mode and being able to control everything uh, and then keep the mode we're using now as a basic simple mode for people who are just getting the train sim uh, people who just want to kind of drive around and not have any stress um, but, uh, yeah, I think really my biggest gripe is just the, uh, the safety is annoying. <laughs> I wish we can control that and, uh, make it harder. Uh, again, I know the majority of people who play this sim, uh, are not interested in making it harder, but I think you should make it harder for those of us, those few of us who want it to be harder. Um, other than that, for the most part, I like it. I think it sounds pretty good. The texturing is freaking, uh, is so good. Uh, the gameplay is a lot of fun, actually. I've really, really enjoyed uh, the scenarios and the services they have so far. I love both Jubilee and the 8F. And, uh, again, highly recommend it. Uh, if you do decide to get it, let me know what you think. If you love it, if you hate it, uh, I'll take responsibility, <laughs> however you feel about it. Uh, I take my reviews very, very seriously, and I will not recommend something unless I believe that you'll actually enjoy it. And I have had so much joy. Um, so far with this DLC and after I finish the stream I'm not just gonna stop playing it like I'm gonna continue playing it you know even more in the future so uh, I don't know if we'll stream it we'll see it depends how much you guys are enjoying the train sim streams and if you guys want to see more if enough of you guys want to see more then I'll definitely bring it back to the channel even more but yeah hopefully you guys are doing good another thing that I'll usually do um, and this is mainly what I do for freight trains is uh, I'll go and uh, set the hand brakes on uh, all the cars uh, if I'm done for the day. So this is a handbrake here. And we'll set that to fully applied. And then I actually go to the back. I know I keep running back and up and down the train. But I go to the back and I'll set the handbrakes on the last three or so cars. Just to make sure the train doesn't roll off uh, when we disconnect. Uh, now I don't know if this service will allow us to just continue and just move on with our lives. Um, I, I, we're already on... Um, on uh, like walk around mode, so I'm gonna go handbrake fully applied here. And I completely tie down this trap, this uh, train, and it will go back here. And we can move these levers. I think I can drive these levers. Man, they are cutting outside. Um, I can't reach it. Listen to the fire. That's cool. 
There it is. Handbrake applied. So we'll do the last three wagons. Or free cars, however you call it. There we go. All set. And then uh, I'll probably just go ahead and disconnect. You'll see if it'll allow me to disconnect the train from the rest of the of the uh, consist. Yeah, we can. Cool. Alright, we're all done. We're tied down. And uh, we'll, I uh, guess, they'll do something else with that later on. Well, guys, it's been fun. Thank you guys so much for coming through and hanging out. Thank you so much, Micah. Uh, thank you, Top Gaming. Dio Galvin, thank you so much. Have a good night, my friend. Uh, Clava41, my friend, welcome, and thank you so much for hanging out with me as well today, man. It's good hearing you guys' expertise. Uh, Albies, Al, Alba, Alba, I don't know how to say your name. <laughs> welcome, you know who you are. Thank you so much. And I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. The Fonz is in the house. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really do appreciate that. And uh, uh, I think I said hi to Maddie. And Kenneth, thank you so much. Aaron Needles has become a gold member. Thank you so much for supporting the channel in that way. You are amazing. Uh, for the rest of you guys, have an amazing day. We'll be back Thursday with some more Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, and uh, if you want, again, if you want to see more Train Sim content, let me know in the comments. I need to hear it. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy streaming it. Uh, there's lots of diversity of content within train sim, modern trains, high speed trains, commuter trains, freight trains, uh, German freight trains, lots we can do with that. So if you want to see more, let me know. But until next time, guys, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I am all the way out. Peace.